Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, September 15th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 282. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Xiao Zhan's drama comeback, and Zhao Liying films a new suspense thriller. But as always, we begin with what's recently premiered. First Romance is a modern drama starring Wang Peng and Riley Wang, and it premiered yesterday, September 14th. Riley Wang stars as a dashing college student and budding pianist who crosses paths with Wang Peng's character, whom he had a crush on in high school but never got to profess it. This time round, she's the one who's smitten with him. First Romance is available on YouTube on YoYo Fun Station. There are English subs as well. You need to click CC, Auto Translate, and then select English. They're not the best subs, but they get the idea across. Dating in the Kitchen is a modern drama starring Lin Yushen and Zhao Lusi, and it premiered earlier today. The drama follows the romance between an arrogant businessman and an aspiring chef. The two seemingly opposite characters butt heads on everything but bond when it comes to their one common interest, food. Lin Yushen plays Lu Jing, the arrogant businessman. Lin Yushen was in last year's Heavenly Sword Dragon Slaying Saber. Zhao Lusi plays Gu Shengnan, the aspiring chef. Zhao Lusi is of course the star of one of this year's hits, The Romance of Tiger and Rose. Dating in the Kitchen is based on the Chinese novel Finally I Get You, which was also made into the charming 2017 movie This Is Not What I Expected, which starred Takashi Kaneshiro and Zhou Dongyu. Dating in the Kitchen is available on WeTV with English subs. I skimmed through the first episode and it is as cute and funny as the trailer makes it out to be. Beware of the food scenes though, they can and will give you the sudden urge to raid your fridge. Heroes in Harm's Way is an upcoming modern drama and they've officially announced a September 17th premiere. The drama is a collection of seven stories, all of which deal with this recent pandemic and how people in China are fighting it. The drama is slated for 14 episodes, so I'm assuming two episodes per story. And the seven stories are as follows. Keep in mind that these titles are literally translated. At the moment, there are no official English titles for them. Retrograde starring Cheng Shu and Wang Zifei. Trust You Have Been Well Since We Parted starring Yang Zigang and Jiang Yan. Mother and Daughter in Law Battle starring Sa Rena and Li Yixiao. Happy Community starring Shi Ke and Xu Jiao. This story also co stars Eddie Khan and Xiao Zhan. A Thousand Kilometers starring Cheng Taishen and Niu Junfeng. Great Uncle Rabbit starring Ma Tianyu and Su Qing. In the Same Boat starring Han Xue and Zhang Mingen. Those stills were taken from the trailer that they released yesterday, and from the trailer I can see that the drama will touch on themes like heroism, sacrifice, and courage in dire times. Now, where to watch this when it premieres? That is a good question, and I'm not entirely sure at the moment. The drama is produced by CCTV, and they do have a channel on YouTube where they only upload dramas, so maybe it will be on there. I'll update you guys again on that front. So a little bit more on Xiao Zhan's bit. I know many of us were waiting for The Oath of Love or The Wolf, but it looks now like this will be his comeback drama. Even though his screen time will not be as much as in the former two, the good thing is that this is his most recent drama work. This is him at the series wrap, which couldn't have been too long ago. Hopefully this is a springboard for more of his dramas to get released. And regarding Heroes in Harm's Way, if there's one thing we can learn from its release, it's that things can move so fast when the government wants it to. Shows like it and the upcoming Together starring Lei Jiaying, Jing Dong, and Yang Yang get greenlit, produced, and released in a matter of months. Everything is expedited because the government wants these type of inspirational dramas, if you will, to hit the airwaves. Conversely, if they feel like a certain project should be delayed, they can delay it for years, like The Wolf has been. And before we get to Zhao Liying and Daniel Wu, a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. Now whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. 
Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus Sim. Who is the Murderer is an upcoming modern drama starring Xiao Yang, Dong Zijian, and Zhao Liying, and they recently began filming. It was a quiet affair for the drama, no announcements or pictures of the booting ceremony, but the stars acknowledged the project on their respective Weibo accounts. Zhao Liying reposted the trio's picture from Bazaar magazine with the message, Who is it? Xiao Yang did the same thing with the same question and tagged Zhao Liying, and Dong Zijian did the same as well, tagging both Zhao Liying and Xiao Yang. The drama is part of Ai Qiyi's Light On series, which includes recent suspense thrillers like Sisyphus with Wang Qianyuan and Lu Han, and one of my favorite dramas this year, The Bad Kids with Qing Hao. In Who is the Murderer, Xiao Yang and Dong Zijian play police officers who reinvestigate an unsolved murder case that happened 10 years ago. Zhao Liying plays a doctor who helps with the investigation. Here she is in a picture taken on set. And here's some footage of her filming a skating scene. I've never seen Zhao Liying play a doctor or act in a suspense thriller, so this will be refreshing for me. She was supposed to act in The Story of Xing Fu, a drama about a small village woman who takes the village chief to court, but for some reason that drama has been postponed indefinitely. As for the other two stars, Xiao Yang has appeared in all three of the Detective Chinatown film series, and Dong Zijian's most recent drama to air was Like a Flowing River. Who is the Murderer is slated for 12 episodes and will premiere on iQiyi. It should be a good one, and I'll give more updates as they provide them. And now I just want to do a follow-up to a story I did earlier this month. On September 3rd, I did a segment about Daniel Wu offering a reward for information leading to the arrest of two suspects who assaulted an 89-year-old grandmother. The suspects slapped the woman and set her clothes on fire. Fortunately, she didn't suffer any major injuries. Well, this week, New York officials announced that they had arrested the suspects, two 13-year-old boys. Both were charged with third-degree assault. Just such an unnecessary and regrettable incident for everyone involved. And moving on, it's time for me to answer a question from one of you, a fan who supports my channel by contributing on my Patreon page. Today's question comes from Peggy Hui, who asks, Hi Marcus, just finished watching your latest video in which you mentioned online readings of Chinese novels. Do you know any good websites? I surfed online some time ago, but failed to come up with anything worthwhile. Would so appreciate it if you could provide me with a link or something. Thanks for your question, Peggy. Many dramas these days are adapted from novels. I see comments all the time from people who read a novel and then get excited when it gets adapted into a drama. Or vice versa, they watch a drama and are so impressed that they want to read the novel. So this is a great question for the wrong guy. I personally don't read novels online, so I probably can't suggest the best websites. But I did a quick Google search and these ones popped up. BoxNovel.com, ReadNovelFull.com, and WebNovelOnline.com. Now I don't know how good these are, the online novel world is really quite foreign to me, but maybe some of you who are familiar can chime in in the comment section with recommendations. I'm sure many viewers would appreciate it. And that's it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, the link to it is in the description below. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!